Gracious Heavenly Father, we stand here before you tonight, a grateful for you. I wasn't there, and I had no desire to be a part of any kind of institution that wanted to have a football program just to add students to the school. When we set out to do something, we're going to do it with excellence. When you looked at Bearfield, that's what you wanted out of a startup coach. I was there to win championships. I was there to win football games. That's what coaches do. That's what real coaches do. They win. And when we started talking about football, it didn't feel real. I was like, could this really be happening right now that we're actually going to be able, I get to be a part with this amazing team to launch this historic program at the university. I pray tonight that there would be a blessing on Victory Field. In Jesus' name, amen. Meeting at midfield is Sam Moyer, Augie Schmidt, along with Jonathan Pierce, and also out there as a captain right now for Southeastern University, the fourth member of that crew, number 23, Colin Thomas, one of the safeties. They're all meeting at midfield. Southeastern wearing the red jerseys. It was my freshman year, so I was a part of the first ever recruiting class here. So I graduated high school in 2013, and we were a part of the, the first crew on campus. Yeah, yeah, freshman year. So 2013 was my first year. Yeah, so the Bonnie Park boys are the, they are the original group. So first year in 2013, like there were no games. Like there was no stadium. That was all under construction when we first got here. So we had to figure out like, well, what are we going to do as a team? Like we, we got to practice and we got to work out. So, I mean, just about every single day for about a month or two, we would drive over to Bonnie Park and uh, coaches would put us through workouts that were basically designed to make people quit. <laughs> it, was, it was tough. We used to do all the weightlifting outside with water kegs, the little sandbags, and 100 degree weather every day too. It was tough, but <laughs> it made us who we are now. Uh, campus looked a lot different uh, than it does today. Uh, there, there was no football field when I first got here. And I used to start, uh, in their minds, building the stadium. I, I'll never forget, he took me out on the balcony, and which overlooked the soccer field at the time, and then he just painted a picture of, like, this is where it's going to be. Like, this is where we're going to play games. This is where there's going to be a stadium. The key was is I found people that would, would catch on to that vision that we were trying to, to paint for them, that brotherhood that they developed of putting in all the work, putting in all the time, being in a close-knit unit, and accomplishing the things that they accomplished, developed a brotherhood that within those guys cannot and will not ever be broken. Yeah, I was hired as the women's basketball coach. And so I never wanted to be an athletic administrator again. They had asked me that in the interview process. I kind of laughed and said, no, I just want to coach and you know, try and win championships and build athletes. And, and uh, a year later, I was the AD because the AD at the time resigned. So before that happened, he had walked into a staff meeting and said, administration wants to start football. And I've never been in a school with football before Southeastern. Um, I was at a Division three school, a big basketball school. Um, but... I, I didn't even have high, high school at my football at my high school. So hearing that we were going to start football was was kind of exciting to me. Like, oh man, I'm going to be at a school that has football. Uh, it was not it was not received like that universally. Uh, in fact, you know, when it got out on campus that we were going to start football, uh, the the faculty were, you know, football is going to ruin our campus culture. Football is going to ruin our university. Uh, football is going to change things as we know it. You know, there were a, a few naysayers that thought, well, you know, it's going to affect the culture of the campus and, you know, you want to be a winning culture and can you win and also develop character. And the biggest thing we heard, okay, was if you bring football in, it's going to, it'll, it'll ruin the spiritual environment of the school. You're a Bible, you're a faith-based institution. Football will destroy it. Everybody talks about how football is gonna change our culture. What about how our culture can change football? And we just didn't buy it. 
We didn't buy it. We think everything rises and falls on leadership. So we wanted a coach that had a deep and rich faith. We got it in Bearfield, right? We, we added a campus pastor specifically for football. Uh, we just don't believe that faith is excluded from sports. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but I'll never forget, like from day one, that they said like, hey, the first and foremost priority on our list, like what we are here to do is shape incredible men of God to go out into the world and lead their families well um, and lead their communities well. So that was the first thing that they said like, hey, this is what we're doing here. You know, yes, we're also doing academics. We're also doing football and weights and training and all the other fun stuff. Um, but like what we're really here for is uh, developing men of Christ. But I remember after that first year, getting ready to step into 2014, which was our first year with some games on campus, like we have a real schedule, like, okay, football is going to feel real now. And I remember it was really around this time last year where we were going through training camp. Coach Bearfield kind of put it in our hands a little bit where he's like, what do you guys want from this? Like, what, like, what do you want this to look like? Do we have like a mantra or a code or something that we have that we can rely on that's going to unify not just this team, but also the 2015 team and the 2016 team and the 2023 team like that they can continue to rely on. And they came up with the slogan, Unshakable Faith and Unbreakable Brotherhood. Unshakable Faith, Unbreakable Brotherhood. That's kind of what we decided to land on because we felt like that was something that would be able to last a really long time around here. What makes a brotherhood actually real? It's no matter what happens, um, these things will remain. Bearfield and his staff can dial up here with Jonathan Pierce working out of the pistol. Right behind him is Jarrell Reynolds. JP to pass. Nice cut block on the left side. Home run ball down the right side for Mac. Caught it to 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown fire. Wow. Great toss from Jonathan wow. Pierce down the left side to Devontae Mack. And it goes 75 yards for the wow. first touchdown at Victory Field. We played our first home game in our stadium. We cut the ribbon on a Thursday, and we played on a Saturday. And Dr. Engel was so gracious to stand up there in front of the whole crowd gathered for that ribbon cutting and guaranteed a victory for Saturday night. From the get-go, we, we set out, we're gonna be champions, we're gonna build championships. And after it was over, people says, well, coach, that puts a lot of pressure on you. I said, no. I said, me and the president are on the same page. Scott Aaronwitz, the referee, helping him up to his feet. And that's the final horn. The Southeastern University Fire have picked up their first win in program history with a 31-7 win over the Warner University Royals. And the Fire remain undefeated on campus. But to see all of those young men who walked in in August of 2013 and to watch them walk out, big difference, big difference. Great people, great leaders, successful men, successful husbands, successful daddies. Um, 
I just got engaged not too long ago, so I'm getting ready to get married in April. Yeah, so I'm an entrepreneur in the commercial real estate space. Three kids, uh, AJ is seven, Balin is five, and Maverick is six months actually today. I got married in uh, 2020. To go be a teacher and coach football. Coach Barefield did a tremendous job in building this program from scratch. I mean, it's amazing for him to start this program and win so many games right off the bat. I want to make sure that we continue that trend. You know, I think this should be a championship football program year in and year out where we're competing for championships. We want to win on and off the field and uh, build a program that this university and everyone that's gone here or worked here can be proud of.